In this video, we'll be discussing Guided Practice 3.7. The question says, a manager is about to oversee the mass production of a new tire model in her factory, and she would like to estimate what proportion of these tires will be rejected through the quality control. The quality control team has monitored the last three tire models produced by the factory, failing 1.7% of tires in the first model, 6.2% of the second model, and 1.3% of the third model. The manager would like to examine enough tires to estimate the failure rate of the new tire model to within about 2%, with a 90% confidence level. Question A then says, there are three different failure rates to choose from. Perform the sample size computation for each separately, and identify three sample sizes to consider. Alright, to answer this question, we're going to use the formula Z times the standard error must be less than or equal to M, which is our margin of error. Because it's a single proportion, we simplify the standard error to the square root of P times 1 minus P over N, which is our sample size. And that is then less than or equal to M. So, if we now substitute our values, the Z value, because it's two-sided, we're going to use a 95%. So, that's going to give us 1.65 times our proportion, which is 0.017 times 1 minus 0.017 over N, which is what we're solving for, is less than or equal to our margin of error, which is 0.02. So if we then solve for n, we'll find that the n is 113.7. And because it's uh, a whole number, we round up to 114. So our sample size has to be 114. Okay, so now we've worked out that n for 1.7 should be bigger than or equal to 114. So take note that it's not equal to 114. What we're working out is the minimum sample size. So it's greater than or equal to 114. And now we simply have to apply the same process to 6.2% and 1.3%. So, again, we start with 1.65 times the standard error, which is uh, 0.062 times 1 minus 0.062 over the N, which is what we're solving for. And that has to be less than or equal to 0.02. And the same thing for 1.3%. 1.65 times the standard error, which is 0.013 times 1 minus 0.013 over the n, less than or equal to 0.02. So if we now solve for n here, we'll see that n has to be greater than or equal to 396 for 6.2%. And n has to be greater than or equal to 88. So question B then says the sample sizes vary widely. Which of the three would you suggest using? What would influence your choice? So the answer to this is quite simple. We use the biggest sample size, which in this case is 396. 